welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to be practicing this driving test the theory questions together remember the theory part has two aspects and that is the objectives which is the mcq and the hazard perception test the mcq has 50 questions and you've got to score a minimum of 43 out of the 50 questions before you can be considered to have passed that part of the theory uh, theory exam so in this video we are going to be practicing these 50 questions together that involve 14 topics and we need to finish this within 57 minutes so all the best to you let's go first question how should you position yourself when you use the emergency telephone on a motorway so on a motorway if your car breaks down and you have parked at the uh, shoulder parking that's the shoulder side that you're supposed to park and then you have looked for the sign of where the telephone is and you have reached where the telephone is when you're making your emergency telephone call you are supposed to face where? Are you to stay close to the carriageway? Are you to face the oncoming traffic? Are you to keep your back to the traffic or stand on the hard shoulder? So you are supposed to stay facing the oncoming traffic so that, you know, for your safety and so that people get to see you. What will happen to your car when you drive up a steep hill? So just you just have to picture some of these questions in your mind and some of the questions you just have to memorize them unfortunately. <laughs> so for this one just picture that you are you know driving up hill what happens the high gears will pull better the steering wheel feels like heavier overtaking will be easier the engine will work harder so if I were you I would have thought that, okay perhaps the engine would work harder or the steering wheel will feel heavier. So either of the two, all the best to you. So you see, the engine is going to work harder. Next question says, when should tire pressures be checked? Is it after a is it after any lengthy journey or after traveling a high speed or when tires are hot or when tires are cold? So you can only check the pressure when your tires are cold you've been driving in fog what must you do when the visibility improves so you're expected to put on your fog light when the visibility is not clear and then when the fog is gone what should you do you should switch off your fog lights keep your rear fog light switched on keep your fog light switched on or leave your fog light switched on in case the fog returns. So you're supposed to expect it to switch off your fog lights. What would suggest you're driving in an icy road? So if you have checked some of my objective questions, you would see that they repeat questions a lot, especially on this particular uh, app. And I think, I believe that is also true in reality. So what should you do? What how would you know? That you're driving on an icy road there's less wind noise there's less tire noise there's less transmission noise there's less engine noise and the answer is there's less tire noise which plates may appear with this road sign homes for half mile so you really need to look around you if you want to write the driving test you should you know be conversant with all these road signs around you and that's going to help you a lot in your uh in your exam so if you have watched out maybe in schools like that you would see where there are arms you would normally see this sign on the homes so you're driving at night what should you do if you are dazzled by headlights coming towards you so what should you do should you pull down your sun visor should you slow down or stop should you flash your main beam headlight 
should you shade your eyes with your hand so if it is flashy i think it's either you pull down your sun visor or you flash your main beam headlight also if i were you i'll just see hey they say you should slow down and stop you are on a motorway that isn't subject to smart motorway regulations when should you use the hard shoulder the hard shoulder is where you park on an expressway where you park normally park when there are emergencies you know that on an expressway you have three lanes the left the middle and the right the one at the hedge is the um that's the hard shoulder and you're not expected to park there under any circumstance except in cases of emergency or maybe when your car breaks down unavoidably you know that's when you when you're expected to stop there so when you're stopping in an emergency when you're leaving the motorway when you're stopping for a rest when you're joining the motorway so it's only in an emergency you're supposed to stop which sign means turn left ahead turn left ahead this hey we know is the sign of roundabout ahead b looks like turn left so we'll choose b what should you do if you think the driver of the vehicle in front has forgotten to cancel their right indicator so flash your light to alert the driver sound your horn before overtaking know that in this country sounding your horn is like prohibited unless you are trying to tell somebody that you know i'm here be aware of my presence so overtake on the left if there's room or you stay behind and don't overtake so you stay behind and don't overtake what does this sign mean if I've watched some of my videos, you would have seen a similar sign to this. They are different. You, are, you would have seen that this sign looks like hump. That is on, you know, on school road and all that. But it's not like a hump. But what? It's a hump bridge. It's a bridge because if you look down, you would see that it's like a bridge. So, why should you switch off your rear fog light when the fog has cleared? This is like a repetition. Is it to allow your headlights to work, to stop draining the battery, to stop the engine losing power, or to prevent dazzling drivers behind you? So, um, I, I would have thought that is to allow your headlights to work. But they say it's to prevent dazzling drivers behind you. What should the driver of this grey car be especially aware of? So this is the gray car that is going where there are some cars parked on the left so you would have thought that this person should be aware of maybe a pedestrian or a child coming from in between the parked cars or maybe a car opening suddenly the door of the car opening suddenly so let's see the uneven road surface traffic following behind doors opening on parked cars empty parking space so i'll just see what restrictions apply to people who have a provisional driving license? Is it that they can't drive over 30 mph or they can't drive at night or they can't drive on a company or they can't drive with more than one passenger? So if you've got only provisional driving license, you can actually apply for your theory test and if you have passed that, you can apply for your driving practical, your driving test. But if you've got only the provisional, you are not supposed to drive alone without an instructor. So you can't drive on a company. You need an instructor or maybe a family member who have been driving and who have had their UK driving license for at least three years. So what do this motorway sign mean? Know that this motorway sign means your um, 100. Each, five, each white line means 100 mph. So for this, this is 300 because you've got three white lines here. You've got two white lines here. You've got one white line. So this is simply telling you that they are counting down something. But what are they counting down to? 
they are counting down to somewhere where you need to, you know, stop or somewhere where you need to be cautious, like an exit, where you need to stop and, you know, look around. So, let's see. They are counting down markers to a bridge. Do you really need to stop on a bridge? There are distance markers to the next telephone. If you don't have a business stopping at a telephone, you don't really have to stop. Or they are counting down markers to the next exit. They warn of a police control ahead, so it's to the next exit. You're waiting in a traffic queue at night. How can you avoid dazzling drivers behind you? Use the parking brake and release the foot brake. Keep your foot brake on the foot brake. Balance the clutch with the accelerator. Use the parking brake and foot brake together. So if you're in a queue at night and you can how can you avoid dazzling drivers behind you? If you use a parking brake and release the foot brake, that is hazardous. If you keep your foot on the foot brake, that's okay. If you balance the clutch with the accelerator, why are you accelerating? Do you want to cause an accident? If you use your parking brake and foot brake together, I think that is also safe. So I'll choose A. It says use your parking brake and release the foot brake. You know, we keep learning. You are driving in a French you are driving a French children home from school. They are both 14 years old. Who's responsible for making sure they wear a seat belt or approved child restraints where required? Is it the adult passenger, the children, you, the driver, or your friend? Remember that only the driver is responsible for any other person in the car using their seat belts. What does this sign mean? Traffic light out of order, amber signal out of order, temporary traffic light ahead, new traffic light ahead. So, um, if I were you, I will just say traffic light out of order. What does this sign mean? Two-way traffic cross crosses a one-way road. Traffic approaching you as priority. Two-way traffic straight ahead. Motorway counter flow system ahead. I think it's two-way traffic. A police car is following you. What should you do if the police officer flashes the headlights and points to the left? What are they? What message are they passing across? Is it for you to turn left at the next junction? Or to pull on the left? Or to stop immediately? Or to move over to the left? They're telling you to pull over on your left. What safety device must be fitted to a trailer braking system? A trailer braking system should have is it a stabilizer, jockey wheel, corner studies, breakaway cable. It's a, it's a breakaway cable. If it is a trailer, it's a breakaway cable. At an accident, how could you help a casualty who has stopped breathing? Is it to keep their head tilted forward? as far as possible or to follow the drabc code raise their legs to help with circulation try give them something to drink so if you have done if you are in care or you have done anything related to care you must have done the training on basic life support so you will know what drabc code means and that's the answer what does this sign mean you know that when you have circle and this crosses means waiting or parking so this simply means no through road or end of traffic calming zone or free parking zone ends or end of controlled parking zone so i think it might be maybe free parking zone i really do not know so end of controlled parking zone okay so unfortunately you just need to cram some things and you, you get to learn over time when you keep practicing when may you stop on a clear way never when it's busy in the rush hour during daylight hour you should never what should you do when you are using a counter flow system choose an appropriate lane in good time switch lanes to make better progress increase speed to get through the counter flow more quickly follow other motorists closely to avoid a long queue you know, some, sometimes your answers are just commonsensical. What does this sign mean? 
So this sign, you know, triangle signs mean they are warnings. So does it mean no cycling or cycle routes ahead? You just have to master some of this. So is it cycle parking only? Is it end of cycle route? I think it's cycle routes ahead. You're waiting to emerge at a junction. Your view is restricted by parked vehicles. What can you what can help you to see traffic on the road you are joining? Look for traffic behind you. Reflections on traffic in windows. Making eye contact to other road users. Checking for traffic in your interior mirror. mirror. Um, I think you can use the reflections on traffic in windows. So, that's it. What should you do if the left-hand pavement is closed due to street repairs? Watch out for pedestrians walking in the road. Use your right hand mirror more often. Speed up to get past the roadworks more quickly. Position close to the left hand cap. So you should look out for pedestrians because if it is closed, some of us will want to gallivant around that area. What does this sign mean? Urban Clearway, Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. Then 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. I really do not know, but let's check. If you have seen that red circle with the red lining between, it simply means parking or waiting restriction. So let's see. Does it mean you can park on the days and times that they have shown? No parking on these days. That has actually clearly stated that there is no parking. There is a warning of no parking. They are giving an order of no parking or waiting so no parking on the days and times shown or no parking at all monday to friday or end of urban clear where i think it's no parking on the days and times shown what must you check before you drive someone else's car this keeps you know coming like almost every question almost every time you see this question the vehicle owner has a third-party insurance cover. That your own vehicle has insurance cover. That the vehicle is insured for your use. That the insurance documents are in the vehicle. You see. What should you do when you park a car facing down ill? You turn the steering wheel towards the curb. Park close to a bumper of another car. Park with two wheels on the curb. Turn the steering wheel away from the cab. You know that you're not supposed to drive on the cab or touch the cab. That is very wrong. So you you turn the steering wheel towards the cab so that if it moves, the cab stops it. What should you do when you are unsure whether it's safe to reverse your vehicle? If you are not sure, should you sound your horn, rev your engine, get out and check? Reverse slowly. When you're not sure, you get out and check. How should you dispose of a used vehicle battery? Do you bury it in your garden or put it in a dustbin or take it to a local authority disposal site or you leave it on the wasteland? See, you are in a built up area at night and the road is well lit. Why should you use dipped headlights? Because the road is well lit. So you really do not need your full beam so that you can see further along the road so that you can go as much faster as possible so that you can switch to main beam quickly so that you can be easily seen by others. You know, if you put on your full beam, that's your full light, it will dazzle other people around you and they might not see you easily. So I think it's D. What does this mean? This means you can see two cars that are competing one is dangerous for the other which means you shouldn't overtake at this point so no overtaking what should you do if your mobile phone rings while you're driving or riding this applies to both motorists and cyclists so what should you do should you stop immediately should you answer it immediately should you leave it until you have stopped in a safe place or pull up at the nearest curb Remember, no touching of the cab. 
so therefore commonsensically i'll choose c what should you do to reduce the risk of a vehicle catching fire should you keep water levels above maximum or check out any strong smell of fuel or avoid driving with a full tank of fuel or use fuel additives you should check out any strong smell of fuel you have driven up to a pelican crossing what must you do while the amber light is flashing pelican crossing when the amber light is flashing you should signal the pedestrian to cross always wait for the green light before processing give way to any pedestrian on the crossing wait for the red and amber light before proceeding so you can give way to pedestrians on the crossing when must your vehicle have valid insurance cover is it before you can make a son son is if you are not willing to you know drive put your car on the road for some time you can you know do this s-i-o-r-n is it before that that you make sure that you insure your car when you are not ready to be driving the car or before you sell your vehicle or before you can scrap the vehicle or before you can tax the vehicle which one should come first i think it's before you tax the vehicle you are at an incident what could you do to help an unconscious casualty so you are in the position of a carer now should you take photographs of the scene check that they are breathing normally move them to somewhere more comfortable splash their face with cool water no you should check that they are breathing normally what should the driver of the car approaching the crossing do? So this is the red car and obviously this is a pedestrian and a pedestrian crossing. So should you continue at the same speed or sound the horn or drive through quickly or slow down and get ready to stop? Commonsensically, it is D. What, who has priority when traffic lights are out of order? Traffic going straight on, traffic turning right, nobody traffic turning left you should also understand that driving in the uk is no competition so when it comes to driving no one has priority over another when the the light is not working what's most likely to increase fuel consumption is it poor steering wheel control or accelerating around bends staying in high gears ash braking and accelerating i think is d what should you do when there's an obstruction on your side of the road? Should you carry on as you have priority or give way to oncoming vehicles or wave oncoming vehicles through or accelerate to get past it? So as much as possible, use common sense. Give way to oncoming traffic. You're approaching a zebra crossing. What should you do if pedestrians are waiting to cross? So at a zebra crossing, pedestrians have you know priority so should you give way to hold that and inform people only should you slow down and prepare to stop should you use your headlight to indicate they can cross or wave at them to cross the road you slow down you don't have to gesticulate or you know give them any time you wish to tow a trailer where would you find the maximum nose weight for your vehicle's tow each so this information where is it found is it in the vehicle handbook the highway code in your vehicle registration certificate or in your license document i think it's in the vehicle handbook where are amber reflective studs found on a motorway so with practice you get to know all these things and when you drive on highway you study all these things so if you have the amber reflective stud to your left is the red, to the middle of the road is the white, to your uh, right is the amber, and to the slip road is the green. So this is what to your right. Is it between the arch shoulder and the carriageway, or between the acceleration lane and the carriageway, or between the central reservation and the carriageway? So the central reservation is the one that splits the left road from the right road. So you could just say it's between the central reservation and the carriageway. 
what hazard do you need to look out for as you drive under the bridge let's watch out this is under the bridge what hazard should we look out for is it pedestrian crossing pedestrian walking in the road or over hanging tree branches or a narrowing of the road or the height of the bridge so if we can watch it again let's watch it again I don't think pedestrians are, you know, supposed to even walk on that road. So that might not be the answer. I think maybe the oh pedestrians walking. What's the speed limit on this road? Let's look at the road. The road is a single caravan or what do they call it now? It's a single lane. And on a single lane, the, the speed limit is 60. Hey, it's 30. Oh, hey, just, oh, it says 30. Why is it 30? So if you look closely, going street slides now. Okay, sure, crossing it. What does the single yellow line along the line of the road mean? So the yellow line means no parking or no waiting. So is waiting restriction apply at certain times? If it is double yellow, it means no waiting or stopping at all. Or if it is single, it means if you look around, you would see that there are times that you can pack or, you know, wait. There will be time indicated there. So now we have failed this because why failure? It's all the guys.